Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to talk to you about websites. So this is definitely a very different video than you're used to seeing on, on my channel. Very different uh, realm altogether. <laughs> different topic, different niche. And uh, this, this video obviously won't be for everyone. I would imagine that if you clicked on this video, it's because you have been thinking about building a website for yourself or somehow creating one or having someone build it for you or you've been watching YouTube videos on how to build your own website or you've been trying to build one but you just keep hitting a wall because the learning curve is, is too big and too great and it's too frustrating. Uh, so there are varying degrees of, uh, of, of development and different reasons obviously that people want a website. Some people prefer to build a website on a free platform like Wix or Blogspot or, hmm, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Um, Wix, Blogspot, why am I drawing a blank? I'm drawing a blank because I don't ever advise building a, a free website on a free platform if you want to have a professional essence and presence online. People who build those websites, it's either a hobby website or they're just creating something very quick and easy because they want a landing page just to put up their, their phone number and their contact information for whatever their service is. Uh, something like that would just be somebody who's just getting started in their online venture and they're not really sure what they're doing but they need to throw something up on the internet just so that people can find them. Things like that. And it's also good for people who aren't, you Know, very serious about having an online presence but they again they just need some form of, of contact for people to be able to reach them in the type of websites that I specialize in and I've been working in for the past five to six years are good quality websites content websites professional websites for your presence online I do not use free platforms at all uh, because when you are going the more professional route or you're trying to build something of quality online, you want to own your content. And I'll explain more on that in just a minute. Uh, so as you know, well, maybe you know or don't know, I have mentioned this many times in previous videos, even when I was doing the, the tarot readings and the psychic readings um, full time or on a regular basis, there would be some mention of, oh, I used to build websites before this, or I still, and I still did, even while I was on the channel and doing it full time and or regularly, I would still build websites in my downtime just because it gave me some balance. And also I've, I've built a number of websites over the last number of years that have just been for play, you know what I mean? Just to kind of uh, fine tune my skills or just to kind of create and dapple in new uh, concepts and, and, and that sort of thing. I've also built websites that I have sold. So it's just something that, that I've always done and I've always kind of tinkered around with. I don't really know why. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, I, I'm, I don't know, it's just something that I got into and, and maybe because of the creative component, you know, as a writer, because that's really, you know, big parts of, of the essence of who Leanne is. I'm a writer and I'm a medium. Those are like my two big things. Building websites is a skill set that I have. It's a technical skill set that I have. It's also, I use my intuitive ability to navigate building a website to creating it to you know the concept and the idea to the graphics and the design and and uh, the feeling of the website I'm a very feeling person and as a writer I see websites as the electronic version of books and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so drawn to them and I've been playing around with them and creating them on and off over the last five to six years um, because every time you go to a website it each website has its own story. It has its own story, its own plot, its own character set, its goals, uh, you know, its function, and um, and each one has its own personality. Each one has its own color scheme and you know graphics and logo and all kinds of stuff. And so I kind of see it as like an electronic version of a book. So for me, it has been a way to be able to work from home and to also implement my creative skills and also be able to create my own schedule and work at my own pace. So it's given me that flexibility to be able to do that and still balance other things that I want to do, like 
my writing and journaling and just plenty of other stuff that I do in my private life and downtime and personal time that's really important for me and in, in order to stay grounded. Um, I, uh, as, as you may or may not know, I've said this in previous videos as well, that my background is in education. I was a K through third grade teacher originally as I started my career. And I, you know, while I love kids and I love teaching and I can really get into, into the fun of all that, uh, you know, lesson plans and creativity and artwork and presentations and all kinds of fun stuff that you can do with kids. It didn't take me long to realize that, you know, 30 years of commitment to this profession uh, was not something that <laughs> that I was meant to do. And so I got out of that and that's pretty much when I started working for myself and building websites. Uh, so I really love, the part of it that I love doing is, you know, just creating something from scratch and working with somebody and kind of helping to bring their, their ideas and their concepts and their dream of whatever their website is into fruition, into a physical existence, into something that they can feel proud of, they can call their own, and, um, and they can kind of hang their hat on in terms of showcasing themselves, whatever that may be, their business, their talent, skills, abilities, services, things like that, to the world. And so it's, um, it's, it's, it's neat in that aspect. And I also like to do it because I get to work alone. I get to be very quiet when I do that. And if you know me in my personal life, I tend to be a quiet person who spends a lot of time alone, thinking, contemplating, writing, dreaming, daydreaming, imagination, meditating out in nature. Um, I, I, I just, I just like to do work that kind of aligns with that, you know, on a regular basis. I've never been the rat, rate, rat race type of person. See, I can't even say it because I don't even want it in my vocabulary. The rat race type of person, the corporate America, the, you know, the pressure from a boss and your coworkers and the deadlines and jumping through hoops and running around like a chicken with your head cut off. And, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, millions of people do it. But for me, and if you've been on my channel long enough, then you know, I have spoken about my own birth chart. I have a lot of planets in the 12th house and the 12th house in astrology is privacy. It is hermit mode. It is my home is my sanctuary. I want to be in my bubble and I will come out to play in society when I choose to, not because a boss is telling me to. So that's kind of all, you know, um, fit into it's, it's worked into the, one of the reasons why, um, I got involved in websites and all of that. It's just a multifaceted component for me. And, and, um, and, and that's, that's what I think drew me to it. Just with all of that, everything that I mentioned from all the, all the work alone stuff to the private stuff, to the quiet stuff, to the creativity, to, you know, uh, working one-on-one -on -one with people. I really do enjoy that too, especially when I'm working with somebody who, I enjoy, I like, I like their energy. I'm, I'm on board with their concept. I am intuitively feeling, you know, their, their niche, or um, I feel good about what it is that they're trying to do. So I have learned over the last five to six years that um, I have built websites that I've absolutely loved in, in niche markets that I've enjoyed. And I've also built websites in topics or areas of interest I have zero in. So, uh, I, because I took a hiatus from it when I was doing the YouTube channel full time, now as you've seen some of my announcement videos, I am stepping away from that, stepping out and away, moving towards mediumship, developing other areas of my life, and I want to go back to what I call normal people work. So I'm going to be stepping back into the website stuff just because I know how to do it and I can create some pretty nice stuff and, uh, and, and it's just, it feels comfortable to me right now. So that's why I'm, I'm doing that. And as far as, um, learning experiences go, I have learned this time around since I've taken a break from it. Now I'm coming back to it this time around. I want to focus my efforts in specific niche markets. And so I'll explain that, um, in a second because I've created a little slide PowerPoint presentation for you so that we can just kind of get through it and keep it streamlined and, um, and it helps you understand a little bit better about, you know, what this is all about. So I am going to be narrowing my focus to niche markets that I have a personal interest in niche markets that I can feel good about 
doing uh, things that I resonate with. So if I'm, if I'm building a website in something that I resonate with or something that I like, or I feel like I can get excited about the client's vision and what the client wants to do, then all of a sudden I am inspired with all these downloaded ideas and intuitive hits on what to do for their site, how to create it, how to uh, help them create an online presence, market themselves, etc. However, I have learned that if somebody comes to me and wants me to build a website in an in a area of interest or subject matter that I could care less about or I have zero interest in, it's like, <laughs> you know, straight face, zoned out, the well has run dry, I've got no ideas. So uh, I have learned that it's like going against the grain, it's a little bit like pulling teeth. And there are website designers out there who... Uh, you know, can build a website in anything, you know what I mean? Because they are very left-brained and somewhat creative and artistic, but it doesn't matter. They don't have to feel into it so much. They just know, no, 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 or they've got enough practice and expertise over the years that they could work on something that they love. They could work on something that they hate and still generate a good product. I can still generate a good product in areas, uh, you know, a topic or a website that I don't care anything about. Uh, but I'm just not as passionate about it. And I, I have found that when I work with clients, again, where I am on board with what they're doing, my intuition kicks in big time and I start to get uh, spiritual hits on it, psychic hits on it. And then that extra guidance really helps them in their endeavor. So, uh, so that's why I'm going to be narrowing it down. And so I'm really only going to focus on uh, looking for people in specific areas. And again, I will show you that in this little PowerPoint presentation. So, um, so with that, I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll go from there and I'll show you some examples as well and, uh, and, and help you understand a little bit more about how I operate and, uh, you know, what I'm all about. Cause it's, you know, it's just, there's, I want to I want to be clear there's different types of website builders out there. There are solo, you know, entrepreneurs like myself or solo builders um who it's it's I wouldn't say it's it's so relaxed as like, you know, the neighbor next door, you know, backyard barbecue type. Oh yeah, sure, I'll build you a website. No, I've got 5 years of a lot of self-taught experience in this. A lot of trial and error, a lot of, you know, ups and downs. Um so I'm definitely more developed than that but I'm not somebody who owns a huge website building services company where I employ 10 people to crank out websites all day long and we're working with big hitting clients and huge businesses with a lot of revenue. My focus is working on working on websites with people like myself, you know, who um, are either just getting started online, who have been online for a little while, but they don't like their website, they want to redo it, they're not sure about social media, how to market, how to advertise, or people who have been online, but it's kind of, you know, flopped and they want to rework it so that they can come up with a new plan on how to reinvent themselves or tweak it in such a way that it's a little bit more productive, it's a little bit more successful, things like that. So I work with people who are complete beginners, who need a website, want a website, they have no idea what they're doing, they're not very tech savvy, they wouldn't even try it on their own, okay? Um, and I have people who are somewhere in between, they're online, but it's just, you know, they're not excited about it, or they started building their own, but they stopped halfway through because it was too frustrating, that kind of thing, to people who are even online and a little bit more established, but really want to overhaul something or retweak something. So there is this broad range here of um, depending on where, every, where each client is at. So what I do is I take an assessment of you and you, your business or your idea, your concept, or what it is that you're trying to build for yourself or redo for yourself. And after the assessment, it helps me understand where I need to meet you. So it's kind of like meeting you in the middle. And then we can go from there. So that's a little bit of the overview. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and, you know, just uh, show you kind of what I put together quickly just to, just to run through um, some information and, and, um, and go from there. So where is that? Oh, there it is. Pesky, that little pesky share screen button that sometimes I don't see. Here we go. Share screen, desktop. Okay, so you should be able to see uh, this uh, little PowerPoint here that I did for you. It's, um, so basically, the first slide, building your website by yours truly, Leanne. Okay, so 
the overview of what it's all about. Well, I just spent a few minutes talking to you about that, so that's done. We can check that off. I'm going to show you three example sites uh, that I can share with you plus a Shopify store that's currently in process. So not only can I do websites, but I can work in Shopify and I, I can also assist in uh, building a, a storefront on a website platform. So it just depends on, on uh, you know, what, what your taste is or what your ideas, what your idea is. And then I'm gonna show you Jeanette's site because this is a, an established site that she wants me to redo for her. So she's a good example of somebody who is already online, she's been online, she's already marketed her services, she's, she's had clients and built a business on it, but she really wants a makeover. And so that's a good example there. Then I will come back to these slides here and uh, we'll talk about how I work, consultations, platforms, use internet tools, pricing, and the type of people that I want to work with. Um, let me see, building your website. Why did this duplicate? That's interesting. This is a new uh, program, uh, PowerPoint program that I'm not used to, so I'm, I'm completely, uh, how I work. Okay, we'll come back to that. So that's the third, that's the third slide. So we will just move this off to the side. So right now what I'm going to do is since I've already gone through the overview, I'm going to go to the example websites and give you a, a little sneak peek. Okay. So this is a website I built a few years ago and I do not believe, um, I'm not, I do not believe he's done much to update it. However, I built this site a few years ago for a couple down in Louisiana, and they have they wanted a a cooking and food blog. So with a Louisiana Louisiana Louisianian, I don't even know if that's not even a word, Leanne Louisiana uh, cuisine feel to it because they do a lot of you know crawfish and. Um, I don't know, Louisiana type food. You know, you know the type of food, the spicy Cajun, uh, I don't know, shrimp, crawfish, lobster, pasta dishes, all kinds of stuff, okay? So their site is called smidgeofdelish.com. And um, so up here, as you can see, they have a, subs a subscription form so that you can sign up for the newsletter and all of that. We have a uh, photo... Um, <laughs> Why am I blanking out? I, I built this. A photo you know, uh, rotator generator, you know what I'm trying to say. So it showcases some of their work, some of their recipes. Over here is a little bio about, about the owner, and he's got some links in here that you can click to go read more about him. This here, Food is Love, Smidge of Delish, this is their, their logo and their header image. So um, I, I create that from scratch for them. And you know, they, they really seem to like it. Uh, up here, their, their menu bar, their menu tab, so home, blog, and then we have a drop-down menu for all their recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizers, desserts, and then extra breakfast, eggs, everyday muffins, you know, pancakes, snacks, soups, all kinds of stuff. So each one is a main header menu item, and then there's a drop-down menu for each category. They even included a uh, holiday uh, menu dishes, you know, menu items for the holidays, menu ideas, conventional items and Pup's Corner. So they uh, look at, um, they've included Pup's Corner in terms of creating food and meals for your dog. So that's cute, right? And then, you know, you've got um, toolbox, kitchen supplies. So if you click on that, it'll take you to probably products that they use in order to effectively create magnificent dishes in their kitchen. They did build a tiny house on wheels and they documented the entire project and then you can contact them. Up here, they have their social media links and so each one is linked to each uh, page and platform. If you scroll down through the first page here, these are just blog entries. You can click on each one and go, go read the story. And, uh, and then down here on the, on the front page, latest recipes, lifestyle tips. You can search the website for different topics. And again, more, um, more uh, <laughs> social media links. So it's just very interesting. If you click on like tiny house, this is um, just something that they've been, they've been working on for over a year. So they built a tiny house on wheels and they completely documented the entire, the entire process. You know, even, even back when they, 
back when they um, bought their trailer. Uh, I know there was photos of that. So like you can see right here, here's the Christmas in their, in their tiny house kitchen. So it's just, just to give you a, a little overview there. So that's this, this blog, this website. I built this, gosh, I want to say, oh, I'm trying to remember. Um, year, definitely a, a good couple of years ago. I, I built this, hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe five years ago, I built this for them. And so th this is just a hobby for them. You know, down here, you got latest recipes and um, um, things that you can click on in terms of categories and, and things like that. So this, this website was just a hobby for them. They don't do it full time. They don't, they don't, you know, keep up on content every day or every week. They pretty much post when they feel inspired to post, when they you know, want to take the time to share something. So it's really just a hobby. Both of them work. They've got full-time jobs and they've got a family and they're busy doing other things. So this would, this is what I would consider like a hobby type blog. Okay. So that was that one. Let's go back to the home screen here and there you go. Okay. Let's move on to the next example. So the next example I want to show you is a website called This Online Stuff. Now, This Online Stuff is geared towards the internet marketing niche. So keep that in mind as I show you these, these examples. This first one, Smidge of Delish, is, is a, a cooking blog, right? Lifestyle blog, things like that. Mostly cooking, but some lifestyle. This Online Stuff is geared towards uh, internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to, how to earn income online, things like that. And so right now, this site, this site I built, and it, it's, uh, it's set up as a demo site, what I call a demo site. So it's not actually active in terms of somebody's using it, somebody's promoting it. This is a demo site that's just sitting there and for, for me to use an example in my portfolio to people. And it's also a site that I could easily put up for sale in the internet marketing world. So I created this site. Now this site is definitely involved. It's, uh, it's got many moving pieces and parts. It has an online shop attached to it, which, uh, showcasing products and services. And, uh, and it also has a blog attached to it with a lot of content. This site took me about a month to make. This is, this is probably the most involved site I've ever created. And, and it took me, it has taken me the longest to, to create. So, um, you know, you've got subscription here for newsletter, you've got clickable links in terms of if you like our theme, check it out. Uh, obviously blog entries here, you can click on read more and it'll take you to all the blog entries. And then of course, like I said, the shop. So this is an example of, you know, if somebody has this website and they want to offer their website building services, there's different levels. This is set up to show different levels of, of a building process. You've got a landing page website, which is literally just you, you type in the domain name. It takes you to a single landing page. That's it. There's no multiple pages. There's no media. There's no content. It's just a landing page website. Um, and then you've got different levels of hookup. So level one hookup, this is focusing on framework, structure, function, security. Level two is all about personalizing it, showcasing it, bringing personality to it. Uh, level three is basically level one and two uh, combined and turning it on and, and plugging it into the internet. And then the level four down here is the whole shebang, meaning somebody who would you know, uh, build the entire site from scratch. There's also an ebook here that has been written and a social media package for anybody who wants to be a social media content manager or a social media manager for people's, um, for people's, uh, you know, businesses. So this has been, a, there's a whole write up here. So as you can see, this is the main menu and everything changes color. Uh, and so the home, the home page is the one that we're on. And all of these images are clickable to take you to whatever, you know, that it's talking about. So if you click on start here, this will take you to what is this site all about and how can it help you? And as you can see, there's an entire write up about what this site is all about, uh, what kinds of things are offered, information, products, services, um, and, and, and how to, how to, you know, help somebody coming to the site who wants to learn about earning a living online in some capacity. So that's the start here page. When you go to the blog, uh, this basically is just a continual roll 
of each blog entry. So website basics for relating your message, better conversion and profits, just blog entries that help the newbie online, uh, you know, uh, figure out the do's and the don'ts, you know what I mean, of, of, of online etiquette, of online advertising and marketing. Ten common, ten common mistakes when starting up online. You know, just helpful tips and tricks, helpful articles, ten ways to reclaim your life right now, learn to create smart passive income, advantage to having your social media done for you. So this is a blog post that talks all about why it might be to your advantage to have somebody else come into your business, your company, your blog, you know, depending on if you're just a one person show, if you're a mom and pop shop, or if you're a full fledged, you know, brick and mortar business, having somebody do your social media for you so that you're not online all day long, every day, posting, posting, posting. So that those, those types of people are called social media managers or social media content managers that basically run not only your social media, but they do your advertising and marketing. So this just gives you a little bit of, you know, um, uh, the advantage laying out, you know, the examples and why that would be advantageous to, to somebody who uh, really doesn't want to have to worry about the social media aspect of their business. Pros and cons of building your own website. So again, this goes hand in hand with, with what it is that I'm talking about here. Some of you need a website, want a website. You've been trying to build your own. You've been trying to figure it out. You're watching tutorials. You're reading articles. You're banging your head against the wall. You don't know which platform to use. You don't know which theme uh, to use or color scheme or even how to do graphics. And so the pros and cons of it, basically, the pros are you build it yourself, you keep costs down, and, and that's pretty much it. Uh, um, the, the, cons are, the cons list of building your own site, if you really don't know how to do it, it much outweighs the pros. It's time, time consuming, it's frustrating, there's a huge learning curve, it, it's costly uh, if you're, if you're uh, trying to build it yourself because you could be spending money on all kinds of things that that you're that you're trying to use to teach you how to how to build it. Um, it it might not even display right on the internet on the computer on a laptop on a smartphone you're you may not know about responsive themes you're trying to do with the plugins there's a lot of cons to building your own site if you don't have experience in doing it okay so there's an article there that explains that 12 reasons why you need a portfolio of your work if you are somebody online who is showcasing your work if you're an artist a creator a photographer somebody who creates and, and builds their own stuff so a portfolio of your work is is important depending on what uh, profession you're in what niche you're in etc so that's an interesting article to read building business with purpose not hype purpose you need to know your why about why you're building your website, why you want a presence online. So once you understand your why, you're gonna be able to build your business with purpose, you're gonna be able to create culture with your audience, instead of being an internet marketer who comes online and tries to pimp, pimp yourself out, or pimp out your products, or pimp out some hyped up material, you know, it's like, oh, you need this next shiny thing, you need to buy now, buy now. So there is a huge difference between internet marketers who are pimps and people online who are building legitimate businesses with purpose, integrity, dignity, morality, and, um, and, and uh, are of service to, to others, okay? And then of course, when you're doing your own website, you need to understand copywriting. Copywriting headlines that sell, copywriting headlines that grab attention, how to write articles in a fashion that engages your audience or engages the reader. There's a lot of stuff that goes into building a website, many, many multifacets of things. Um, to consider and headlines how headlines are important so I just wanted to show you you know the 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 um, the extension of this blog and, and the type of quality articles that are in here okay so um, portfolio you know this is this is just set up right now um, just just as a as a uh, as a as a place marker, just, um, what am I trying to say? It's an example because again, this is set up as a demo site. So, you know, you go down here and it just kind of shows you the portfolio uh, cover photo and then it goes down here and it shows this online stuff as the first uh, website to showcase in a portfolio. And then under here would be listed all the other websites that, that the person 
um, has built or created. Now again, this online stuff is geared towards internet marketing, affiliate marketing, advertising, internet related income, how to create your audience on income, that kind of stuff. If somebody wanted this website, they wanted to change the content of it, this online stuff would be the domain name, but they would attach it to a different niche or a different topic, that kind of thing. This doesn't have to be some for somebody too that builds websites. This could be this online stuff and they could change again the niche. This online stuff showcase their portfolio as a social media content manager. Showcase their portfolio as a graphic designer. Showcase their portfolio as a logo maker. You know what I mean? Or a writer or something like that. So, you know, you have to kind of learn to think outside of the box when you're doing websites, when you're trying to create a website, um, because it's always about a play on words. It's a play on ideas and creativity and um, imagery and things like that. So again, this is just set up as a demo website, but if somebody else took it, I mean, it's not up for sale, but if I ever did put it up for sale, there's a lot that somebody could do with this and make it their own. So that was the second example I wanted to show you. The third example um, I want to show you is my own website. Oh, and I did mention, <coughs> excuse me, that this online stuff took me a month to, a month to make, to, to build. Now I'm gonna show you my own website for those of you who have not seen it yet. I am leanim.com. So this is, Obviously mine, this, this is my, my baby, right? My, my personal website. And uh, this website took me a week, a week to create. Uh, and um, I really put a lot of thought into this website. This header image right here, I created two months before I ever built the website. And I did this from scratch. I had to create something that felt good to me and, and really fit and aligned with me. Once I created this image, I am Leanne, I am right here since 1980, <laughs> been in existence since 1980. And it, I felt like it captured kind of the essence of who I am and had the color scheme that I like and, and um, soft and feminine, yet not too girly and uh, fitting for, for, you know, somebody of my personality type and the writer and all that kind of stuff. Then I built the website around this photo. I did not build the website and then, and then do this photo as a secondhand thing. So I created one piece that I really loved and then I used that as inspiration to build the website, to find the theme that I wanted, to do the color scheme that I wanted, to set up the progression of the site that just seemed to flow um, you know, uh, with, with what my intentions were. So if you see up here in the right hand corner, these are all the social media buttons and of course they change color when, you, when your cursor goes over them. And then I have the main navigation menu here. Join the Facebook group, newsletter, blog, and resources. I have changed the website a little bit since I have stepped out away from psychic work. I've taken the, um, the scheduler down and you know, book a reading with me. There was this, this uh, menu, this navigation menu was a little bit more involved before. But I'm definitely keeping you know, up my, my images here. You can, again, here is a sign up for newsletter. And then if you scroll down through, you know, the front of uh, the, the page, okay, so you've got these clickable links about blog, contact. I had one here that said services. I will be attaching, reattaching that in the near future with a different um, service. Uh, because before my services were the psychic tarot readings and things like that, when I redo this part of the site, I will add services for, you know, website building and things like that. Down here, I have embedded a video, get to know us behind the scenes with a little write-up of bio. This link will take you directly to my YouTube channel. So if you click this, it should take you right there. And many of you have been there before. So here you go. And if you go back, here you go. So the, the embedded video, I'm actually not sure why this is showing. Something is going on here with a plugin. Uh, and it's not playing. Now, that's fine though, because this is a live demonstration, and this is, you know, things like this happen. Usually, 
this video here, this is our introductory video on the YouTube channel. So, so you can go to the YouTube channel and watch it if you haven't seen it, but um, it's the introductory video to myself and Mason with the Frank Sinatra music in the background. And it just kind of shows you us behind the scenes. Now I have not been to my website in a little while. I haven't signed into the back office and, and checked, um, you know, checked um, the health of the website since I have been taking a break from the YouTube channel and the psychic work. Now what happens is, is this is a perfect example right here with this video. What's going on here, why this is a little messed up is probably because there's a plugin in the, in the, in the back office that either needs to be updated or that needs to be reinstalled or there could be plugins that are clashing with each other. So when that happens, that's why audio and visual sometimes won't, uh, won't play properly or won't align properly on, on the website. So, you know, I'm not going to worry about the fact that this is happening right now on this live demonstration. I'm actually glad that it did because it gives you an idea of the types of things that can go not wrong, but the types of hiccups that you can have when you're trying to display a properly working website. And if you don't know how to work in the back office and you have somebody like me who does, I can sign into your site, go right into the back office, start doing some test, you know, um, sequences and, and see what it is that is causing your video not, not to work properly. So that's a good example there. Then I have inspirational thought of the day. I've got the latest post from the blog, December 3rd. So you can see I haven't been active on here recently, but the, nonetheless, the blog is there. A little bio of me over here. And if you want to click on read more, it will take you to my about page. Uh, let's connect. So again, with social media buttons, you can put your cursor in here and search this site, you know, for websites or whatever you want to write in there. You can browse by category announcements, astrology, planetary aspects, story time, et cetera. So your categories on your website will build up the more that you, uh, you create content to post. And of course, I've got you know the social media, come like us on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and things like that. And here are two more uh, blog posts. So that's just the front page of my website. And then down here, this is the latest uh, Instagram post, the latest Instagram feed. So I've got that. And then I have the the footer menu, home, about, blog, services, gift certificates. So, so as you see, I have not taken it down from here. But again, it's a good example because it shows you the types of things that I could put down here for you if you wanted something like that. And then, of course, I changed the copyright down here at the bottom. Copyright 2018 with a red heart because it matches my logo, my header image. I am, I am, I am leanneiam.com. Uh, so, you know, that's always important to do in terms of branding for your website or your business, okay? Uh, if you go to the About page, I wrote up this entire thing about who I am and, and what I'm all about. So you just read on down through it, and, you know, I really put a lot of thought and effort into this this whole page. It's quite a read, but you know, that's what you're going to get from a writer. And I've got, I've got, you know, lightning speed fingers. So it doesn't take me long to, to, uh, to type this up. But so I've got the about page all set up there, joining the Facebook group. I have the write up about that. The Facebook group is now free, by the way, in case you haven't seen my other videos, you can come on over and join us. So it's, it's free to join as long as you're accepted into it. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So this is a, just a quick, you know, write up bullet point of the kinds of things that we're going to be covering, you know, in, in the, in the group as topics come up and then a link for you to join now. So I'm just using my site just to give you an idea of the type of site that I've built for myself, where the links are on the site, how you kind of set up the progression of it with call to action buttons and things like that. Click on the newsletter. There's a newsletter sign up form here. I created this myself from scratch, separate photo inserted, the borders, the color scheme, everything. So you can sign up you know, for the newsletter here and I can in install one of those on your site as well. Of course, again, with the blog. So my blog is set up not to show photos on the main blog role. They're just, they, they are just um, entries. But if you click on you know, the, the blog post itself and you scroll down through the write-up of it, then it will show you the photo. Okay. So the photos are featured on the first page, but they're not featured on the blog roll just to keep the blog roll kind of succinct and not cluttered. 
Then I have a resources page here. This is for bloggers, website builders, everyone in between who wants a presence on the web. So I have literally just listed here, you know, the products that I use uh, when I'm on my own website, when I'm uh, building websites for other people and things like that. So that is, that's, the, that's, that's it in a nutshell. So these are the three, the three examples, smidge of delish, this online stuff, and I am Leanne I am. And I wanted to show you these three examples because again, they're very different niche markets. You've got a cooking and a lifestyle blog. You've got an internet marketing, social media advertising, website building, whatever you want to call it, blog. You know what I mean? Internet marketing, earning, earning income online. And then you have a website here that is showcasing an individual, that's branding an individual, and it happens to be myself. So there's so many different ways that you can build websites, that, that you can showcase content, that you can brand your business, whether you want to be the face of your business or you want a logo to be the face of your business, whether you want to be working up front and center, when, whether you want to be working behind the scenes and things like that. So those are the three examples I have to show you. Again, I can, uh, you know, it gives you the compare and contrast and it shows you a little bit about what my, um, um, versatility is in terms of being able to build websites in different niche markets, different content areas, okay? So now what I want to show you is a Shopify store that is uh, currently in, here we go, that is currently in the process of being built. And, um, uh, and I like that because then you can kind of see that it's not finished and it's not polished. This kind of gives you an idea of what goes on behind the scenes or what goes into creating these types of things. So this is a Shopify store. Now again, let's go back to this online stuff. There's a difference between having a Shopify store or a store on an e-commerce platform like Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, um, even eBay or or Amazon or Etsy, things like that. And there's a difference between that and having a shop on your own website, your own self-hosted website. So if you click shop here, this is the shop that is on uh, this online stuff's website. So each, each image here indicates a product that is for sale, okay? And then you add, you have the add to cart buttons. So different, different levels of, of building or creating a website. So a landing page website, it's showing to be 1350. Different levels of the hookup for a website. If you don't want somebody to build the whole thing, but you just want them to do a part of it, the, the technical part of it that you don't want to do, here's different levels of packages. Build the whole thing, 2250. You know, and again, this is just a demo site. Um, just to showcase, you know, what's possible here. And then, so let's say you want somebody to build you a landing page website, you hit add to cart, and then you come, come up here and click on your cart and it takes you to your cart page. And then it shows the item that you put in the cart or the person put in the cart on your website. If you're running any kind of specials, you can, you can send out newsletters to your audience, give them a coupon code, they can apply the coupon code to get a discount hit update cart, and then they can proceed to checkout, okay? So again, it just depends on what kind of store you have, you know, and then they put in all their details here. So this is the, an example of a store that is on your self-hosted website, okay? It's attached to your website. Now, Shopify stores is, is different than that. A Shopify store is an e-commerce platform. It's plug and play. They're pretty easy to build. The more tedious part of it is there is a learning curve in the back office on how to figure out how to use all the controls and where to upload what. But the other tricky thing with Shopify is uploading your products. If you're doing drop shipping, then you can use applications that can easily import products to your store pretty quickly. If you're not doing drop shipping, but you have your own products and you have to manually uh, build your catalog, and that can, that can be tedious. So sometimes that's why people pay website developers to create a Shopify store for them because they just cannot deal with having to create the product catalog. So this is a, a store that is still, um, still in the process of, of being created. And so here are the header, you know, the, the 
header images, if that's what you want to call them. And you've got a catalog here. So this is Prose La Vie, and it, it's, a, it's a website for writers, a store for writers. There is a website that is going to be attached to the name Prose La Vie, www.proselevy.com. So it's going to be a different, it's going to have its own website, but then it's going to have a Shopify store instead of having a store on the actual website itself. And they're linked to each other. So this website focuses on journals, journals for him, her, unisex children, mugs, refill paper, and pens. So basically journals, refill paper, writing supplies, writing organization. If you scroll down through the front of the page here, uh, I put a quote here that's the same quote from my personal website. I write for the same reason I breathe because if I didn't, I would die. And then I have a little write-up here that kind of gives people an, an overview idea or feeling of you know, what, this, uh, what this store is all about. And then down here you have collection lists. So journals and notebooks, refill paper and pens, writing organization and writing accessories. Writing organization would be Anything writers use to stay organized, whether it's notebooks, whether it's um, tools on their desk, you know what I mean, to organize papers, paper clips, uh, um, there's, there's all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean, ways to organize um, just their writing process even, um, ways to uh, organize their um, products that it can help organize their own tools to keep their desk clean. So things like that. And then writing accessories, this is something that would be fun. So like coffee mugs, t-shirts, um, you know, I don't know, just fun stuff that, that writers like to, um, like to use. Scarves, you know, things that, that point to books and novels or some kind of a bumper sticker, things like that. So writing accessories that are just kind of fun to have. And then down here it shows a featured collection, which would be this, this featured set of journals. So it just depends on how you want to build your store. But again, this is a store that is still currently, um, currently in the making. It's not done yet. But if you go to journals and notebooks, this just gives you an idea of some of the products that have been uploaded in here, the types of things that are being sold in terms of journals. So for, for her, um, there's another page here, you know, unisex journals, journals for him, things like that. It's just taking a second to load for some reason. There you go. Refill paper, things like that. So, you know, that's just on the journals tab. So that's, that's an example of a Shopify store. Again, a Shopify store that is not done, it's not complete, and it's not even really being advertised or marketed yet because it's still in the production stage. All right. So I have um, showed you all of that. Now, what I want to show you next, I showed, I, we went over the overview, the three example sites. So the three example sites I showed you were Smidge Delish, this online stuff, and IamLeonIam.com. I also showed you the Shopify store. Now what I would like to do is show you my friend Jeanette's site, because this is an example of a website that um, is already uh, up and running. It's, it has this online presence. She's been running her business from it, and she wants me to redo it. Okay, so those of you that are in the Facebook group um, and you've been on our call recently, Jeanette is a good friend of mine and she did the numerology call in the Facebook group, the one that I've been talking about. We just had our first call on the 22nd of February and it was basically numerology 101, how to calculate your, your life path number and your creative expression number. She is going to be coming back to do uh, more numerology calls in, in going into numerology more in depth to build on the previous information that was shared. So she's a good friend of mine, but she is also um, a fellow medium. She is an intuitive uh, soul coach. So she does soul coaching, life coaching, um, does a little bit of, you know, emotional, um, you know, counseling and therapy and things like that. Medium, uh, mediumship, mediumship readings, channeled messages, psychic messages. And she also does, like I said, numerology. She uses numerology uh, charts a lot with her clients. She does a little bit of astrology and things like that. So Jeanette's kind of one of those that kind of has like, she, she has one big umbrella, you know, um, uh, and 
one big umbrella with a number of services underneath her umbrella that she can offer people. Now, Jeanette's been online for you know a few years. She's been running her business. She she has she's had clients in the past that she worked with on a regular basis, and she was doing all of these kinds of coaching client sessions with people and mediumship readings and things like that. But then she took a break from it because it started to grow and she got a little burned out. She does still have kids at home. So she's a full-time mom and a wife. So she's got to run the house and do the kids and do the school. And all you mommies out there know how that goes. So she's kind of had to put her business, this website on the back burner while she's busy raising her babies, but the babies are getting a little bit older. She wants to come back to this. And so she's been talking to me recently about her ideas on how to, come back to it, how to reinvent it, how to streamline it, how to create a better website, how to showcase herself, what she wants to take out of her work and what she wants to put in or what she wants to tweak. So we've had a couple of those conversations, chats I like to call them, um, and because she's a friend of mine, it's, a, it's, it's a, more like a chat. A new client, it would technically be called a consultation, okay? So I've just been listening to her and kind of taking it in. And I know her personality pretty well, so I'm already getting intuitive hits on how to build her site, what kind of theme to use for her, what kind of color scheme because of her personality, how to market her. You know, how to, she wants to create um, web courses and things like that to teach people how to do certain things and, and a, a series of videos and things like that. So how to create all that, how to implement it, how to put it on her site, how to create audience, how to do the social media thing. So we've had a lot of discussion about this. Now, this is her original website. She's had it for a while. It's pretty outdated. She's not very happy with it, and she wants a complete makeover and a complete change. She's redoing all of her videos. She wants a brand new logo. She wants a completely different color scheme. She wants professional photos put on as well, and, um, and a completely different layout in terms, of, in terms of her blog, her content, her website, how she's showcasing herself, okay? So these are the types of things, intuitive readings about your life and soul's path, readings to connect to your loved ones and spirits, connect to your soul and divine guidance, believe in yourself and share your gifts, gaining insight on things, developing your, your intuitive abilities. So she does all that. She does like how to open yourself up and your chakras and how to expand your psychic awareness and how to connect with your, your spirit guides. She, so she has a lot that she covers in, in the things that she teaches people and how she works with people. And she does have a blog on here because this says recent posts, trusting your inner guidance, and you can click on all of these. She's got her social media links down here and things like that. Uh, and again, 2014 was when this site was created and brought into existence. So it's 2018 and she's really ready for a makeover. Okay. So, you know, she's got her services page um, and a drop down menu there. She's got some testimonials on here from people, which is very nice. Uh, and, and I can attest to Jeanette's abilities because she has given me a mediumship reading. And I'll tell you what, she brought through information about a deceased loved one for me that there is no way that she could know because I've never told her. She's got her about page. So she's got a whole nice little write up there. And I actually like this photo of her. That's nice. And um, talking about her own path and her spiritual awakening and things like that. Again, she's got a tes testimonials page, her blog. Um, so, you know, blog post after, after blog post with links and stuff to click on, as you can see. Her resources page um, with, a, with, a, with an audio recording here that has been embedded on her, on her website that's free to listen to for people. And you can connect with her, leave a reply and, and all of that kind of stuff. And then her contact page. So, you know, so this is, this is her site. So she wants me to completely overdo, rehaul, you know, like uh, overhaul, rehaul, redo and overhaul. I'm a little mentally dyslexic today because I keep switching my words around. And so I just wanted to show you this because this is an example of a site that's already established, a business that's already established. She's already down the road. So for some of you watching this, this video, you're completely new. You've never even had a site before. You don't know where to begin all the way down the road to people like Jeanette, who's been online for a little while. She's been marketing and advertising herself in that way and working with people locally and online. So she can do Skype sessions or Zoom calls or, you know, video, whatever as well. And so, so this is just an example of, like I said, 
somebody who's established who wants me to completely redo the whole thing. So we're going to take this entire site down. We're going to keep her domain name, JeanetteHill.com. We're going to keep her hosting because she chose the same hosting company that I use. And, um, and I'm going to completely rebuild her site. All new design, all new graphics, logo, color scheme, uh, fresh photos, fresh videos, embedding everything, setting up social media uh, the right way, and, um, and connecting with her audience. Okay, so there's that. So I showed you Jeanette's site. Now, let's move on. So I gave you all those examples. I hope I didn't bore you, but I'm just trying to, you know, really give you some good concrete examples of the, the different levels that I can operate on depending on where you're at. Okay, so let's move on to this next slide here. So how I work bullet point. I'm casual yet professional. I prefer to refer to a consultation as a chat, right? But it's really still a consultation. So when I tell people, go ahead and contact me, we'll set up a consultation. I don't want that word to scare you. I don't want you to think it's going to be this meeting that we have that's very serious and, and all of this that I'm going to charge an arm and a leg just for a consultation. That's not it at all. For me, it's a little bit more laid back and casual because I want to take that expectation off. I want to take the, the rigid nature of confronta uh, confrontation because it can be confrontational. I want to take the rigid nature of consultation, okay, or the rig rigid nature of corporate America out of consultation and just connect with you because if I can connect with you and I can feel you and I can really kind of close my eyes and, and feel the essence of what you're all about, your, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, the business idea that you have, whatever it is that you want to create. And I feel like I can connect with it. It's going to be much easier and better for me all the way around to get on board and be able to, to create something that you're going to love. Okay. So what it is, is, you know, how I work casual yet professional. So I am casual. We'll have a chat. Okay. We'll discuss what we need to discuss. But you know, if, if I decide to uh, to work with you and you decide to work with me when I get to work. It's very streamlined and professional I will be in touch with you on a regular basis. I'll be asking you questions uh, to to you know See how you want me to set this up how you want me to do that I'll let you know the progress of the site and all this kind of stuff So it's not like this little backyard thing where yeah sure I'll build you a site and and never be in touch with you and then call you three months later when it's done Okay, you can contact me inquiring about services and discuss what kind of site you're wanting to build so example Hi, my name is Susie Q. I'm a painter who wants to showcase my artwork and um, I don't have you know, a huge budget to spend on really uh, fancy and complicated website building companies, but I don't want a free website and I don't want some, you know, run of the mill crap website either. Basically, I want something professional, polished, classy and sophisticated, uh, but, um, but it needs to be reasonable. That's where Leanne comes in because that's kind of my niche market. If I resonate with a content matter, the content matter being what it is that you want your website to be, what, what it's all about, we can go from there and set up a chat, okay? So we'll go from there, we'll set up a chat about your idea and need for the site. During the consult, this gives me a chance to learn about you, like I said, your goals, your business plans, what your objectives are moving forward, where you see yourself taking your site for the long term. So that's another reason why I showed you the examples of those sites. The cooking website, for example, it's a hobby blog. So they don't really have a vision for it long term. They don't really have this need and this drive and this desire to make their cooking blog the biggest, you know, most traffic producing blog on the internet. They just want to have it for fun. Whereas Jeanette's website is to actually run a business, a full fledged business then. Whereas the I am, I am Leanne, I am .com is showcasing me as an individual. Um, as um, um, this online stuff, again, it's just a demo site, but that's a completely different niche market. So, um, you know, it just depends on, on the, you know, uh, what what your what your long-term plans are for it and some of you it might even be short-term some of you it might just be for fun so we can talk about that and then during the consult or the chat we can discuss strategies to implement design ideas graphics logo social media efforts and things like that okay moving on the platform and tools that I use I um, only work and operate in studio press Genesis Okay, so Studio Press Genesis with, I'm sorry, Studio Press Framework 
with Genesis child themes. That's what I operate in. You can either do studio press or you can do thesis, okay? Thesis is, is um, has a huge learning curve. It's very involved, it's complicated, and it's really a platform for people who are like coders. They can write code, they can do all kinds of stuff that, no, it's just, it's, um, it's it's very it's like the difference between Microsoft and 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 Mac, Microsoft and Apple. One's more complicated than the other. So I use Studio Press Genesis, Studio Press Framework with Genesis Child Themes on WordPress.org. I only work in WordPress websites and the .org website, not the .com, because the most important thing when you're building your your professional website and you're creating an um you want to have a professional presence online. You want to own your own content. When you are using a free platform like Wix, Blogspot, and all those others that I can't remember the names of, you don't own your content because it's on shared hosting on a free platform. So what that means is if you post something, advertise something, express an opinion about something, and the service provider doesn't like it, the internet doesn't like it, Google doesn't like it, they can come in and shut your website down and wipe it clean without even telling you about it. And then you just lost all of the work that, that you put into it. And that's really painful when that happens. So you want to own your content. That's why you want WordPress.org always and forever. When you build your website, nobody can come in and shut it down. They can't take issue with anything that you say, anything you post, anything you upload, anything, 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 because you are protected under the, uh, the right to uh, freedom of speech, you know, the right to express yourself. So you, I, that's the only platform that I... I work in plus WordPress is one of the biggest platforms in the world. They, they are very um, trustworthy. Some of the, some of the biggest businesses in the world use WordPress uh, and um, it's very user friendly and uh, you know, even Shopify stores, a Shopify store, the template of Shopify is built in WordPress. So there you go. I just love WordPress. Okay. So, these are the tools that I use. Again, Studio Press Genesis, Studio Press Framework with Genesis Child Themes, WordPress.org only. And I build your website on, on WordPress using Studio Press. It's kind of confusing, but I'll show you if, if we get that far. Okay. Also, uh, the platforms and tools under that is domain name and hosting. So if you are somebody that doesn't have a website, you want a website, you don't even have a domain in, in mind, that can be something that we can discuss. I can help you come up with a good domain name that is catchy, that helps to, um, that people will remember, that helps to, you know, market and advertise your site, etc. And I'll help you learn how to purchase your domain and I will hook you up with a very, in my opinion, the best hosting company. That's the only hosting company that I use. Um, the proper hosting that has 100% uptime, very trustworthy, reputable company, never any problems or technical glitches. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this hosting company. So if you need help with a domain name and hosting, I can help you do that. We'll brainstorm good domain names. We will purchase one and we will redirect it to your hosting account. The hosting account is what we will build your WordPress, Studio Press, Genesis uh, website or blog on. Okay. So I, like I said, I can help to generate if needed. I can set it up for you. I can configure it and I can also help you transfer. Let's say you're somebody who has a domain name but or hosting, but you want to switch your product or service, right? So let's say you have hosting on one company, but you want to switch it to the other. I can help you walk, walk you through the transfer process of doing all that and redirecting all of your domains and your hosting and your information and all this kind of stuff. Cause it, it can be confusing if you're, if you're new to this. Okay. Then we'll also talk about site design, graphics, color and font schemes, audio, video, building, creating, linking all social media outlets to your site, product store creation, showcasing services, marketing and advertising techniques, uh, guidance on site content, bio and resources. This is going to be very important for when you launch your website. Your content, your bio and your resources are building blocks to help people get to know who you are. I will give you guidance on internet marketing and advertising as well because it's one thing to get your site built, but once it's built, what do you do with it? What do you do with it? How do you get it out there in front of people? How do you, 
You know, it's like that's it doesn't stop at just building the website. If you build it, they won't come. You need to know how to do SEO. You need to know how to do marketing and advertising. You need to know how to build and create your own audience and engage with your audience and build culture. Guidance on how to use social media to build audience and create culture. So that's basically what I just said. I can talk you through that and help you help you kind of brainstorm some ideas and that are appropriate for your business, for your idea, for everything you're trying to do. And then also I will give you a list of internet tools that you can use to make your online experience easier for running your site on the back end. So specific plugins that help your site work better, uh, social media tools that you can use for posting content, um, just other stuff. I, I won't get into it now, but these, these tools are, they're like applications that help make things easier. Okay. And then Price, duration, and clients preferred. So the price of my service, it really depends on the type of project we're working on and the length of time it takes to build. I have created that Shopify store that I showed you in three days. The longest it's taken me to build a, a website is one month. So my, my personal website, IamLeanIam.com, took me a week. Um, smidge of Delish, I really can't remember. It was so long ago. It really just depends on, on you know, the type of project you, 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 you have. Okay. However, my, my, my prices, my services and everything are affordable. They're reasonable. They're competitive. You know, I'm not sitting here as a solo website builder. I don't want to call myself a website designer because I don't do code. I don't build websites from the back office from scratch. Um, I build websites based on templates that are already in place like studio press and WordPress website, uh, website, um, builders, website creators, website designers, things like that. You know, they, they can go into very complicated stuff that, that it's like reading Chinese or something. I mean, you just, it blows my mind and I have no interest in learning it. Okay. So that's why I am, you know, I'm not, um, like I said, a website building company that's going to charge you $5,000 to build your website just to get you up and running uh, online. So uh, we can discuss price when, when you reach out to me and we have a consultation because again, there's no way that I can really tell you until I understand what the project is and, and how involved it is, everything that you want done. Okay. And I want you to keep in mind that there are different types of websites that can be build, built landing page websites, redirection websites, blogs, magazine, magazine style websites, either magazine style content or magazine style like in fashion and makeup and things like that. Large content websites. It's a website with pages and pages and pages and pages of content. You can do affiliate sites, subscription sites, storefronts, things like that. So again, that's why it depends um, you know, on as in terms of price and charging for my services, because it really depends on what you want. Now, I want to I want to stress. I wanted to list out last but not least um, uh, the. Hold on, one moment here. Let me just double check something. My apologies. Let me stop share screen. I need to check something. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure this video was still recording. I thought, oh, after saying all that, well, you know, it would be my luck that, um, that it wasn't recording. Okay. Go back to share screen. Here we go. Okay. And last but not least, the niche market that I am focusing my attention and efforts in, not just any business people that I want to work with. So, you know, I've had people come to me before, like, can you build me a website on mechanics and how to take out the engine and different types of tires and tools? And that doesn't interest me at all. Like I, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Or somebody comes to me with, um, you know, uh, I don't know, can you build me a website on my real estate business? Can you build me a website on my engineering business or my, you know, some just like really kind of dry and, and boring stuff. So that's what I'm stepping out and away from. The niche markets that I want to work in, so if, if you are somebody watching this video and you fall under one of these categories uh, and, and, and you kind of feel good about my energy and the things that I'm talking about, that I can provide quality work, I can provide a, a professional website, I can have everything set up, hooked up, you know, running smoothly, connected to your social media, helping you market and advertise, but you know, I'm not, it's not this overly, um, what am I trying to say? It's not this, um, overly intimidating thing, right? It's just kind of like, 
you and me having a cup of coffee and, and building your website, you and me having a cup of coffee and talking about your goals and your dreams, and then figuring out a plan uh, and, and a concept in order to bring it into the physical reality. So the niche markets I want to work in is um, anything spiritual, psychics, mediums, channelers, healers, spirit art, etc. Practitioners, health and holistic, Eastern or Western medicine, herbs, crystals, soul coach, spiritual life coach, Reiki, massage, hypnotherapy, past life regression, etc. If you're a creator or an artist of any kind, painter, musician, dancer, sculptor, pottery, writer, photographer, etc. Pets and animals, mediums who can connect with the animal world, holistic care, vet care, nutritional pet portraits, whether you are an artist who can actually uh, you know, paint or draw a pet portrait from a photo that you're looking at or from actually looking at a live animal, or if you are a medium who can close your eyes and see uh, the spirit of an animal and do a pet portrait that way. So that could be interesting. And um, any type of healing with animals. And really anything else with animals uh, that I'm not thinking of or, or coming up with, you just have to reach out to me and ask me if it's um, something that I want to work with. Stay at home moms. Moms who want to create a blog or a website in whatever your interest is. And so popular ones, popular types of websites that stay-at-home moms tend to do are DIY, do-it-yourselfers, so crafts, you know, anything crafty, anything home renovation, um, you get the idea. Uh, uh, you know, sewing and creating your own clothesline or whatever, DIY, DIY tiny homes. I've seen some stay at home moms who have done DIY blogs on their tiny home on wheels, DIY on how to create uh, your own organic garden, DIY on how to tend to farm animals in a natural and holistic way. So there's so many different, you know, um, areas that you could do just to give you some examples. Uh, so DIY blogs or websites, home and family, anything around home and family your home itself, projects, uh, renovations, your children, your, your relationship, whatever. Makeup and fashion is a big one with stay-at-home moms. Lifestyle blogs, different types of lifestyle, natural and holistic, chronic illness, losing the baby weight, um, a, a, a lifestyle you know, that most people don't live, vegan lifestyle, vegetarian lifestyle, living off the land lifestyle, all kinds, traveling lifestyle, whatever that is for you. Health and healing, so anybody who is, a, who is into healthy lifestyle healing, you've healed yourself from chronic illness, things like that, motivational um, uh, websites and blogs for stay-at-home moms. Then anybody who's involved in community projects, nonprofits, social welfare organizations, and new concepts. Um, so, so that's pretty much self-explanatory. And then entrepreneurs, motivational speakers, inspirational writers, business builders. So, and, I, and, and, and it's whether you're a man or a woman. I did say stay-at-home moms. I could do stay-at-home dads too. Uh, or, or if you're a man who is a creator or an artist or a practitioner. So I'm not just limiting it to females. I think that my audience will mostly be female. My, my client base will mostly be female, but I can certainly work with men uh, and, and help you with your website as well. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So these are the types of people that I want to work with. So if you fall in any of these categories, or if you fall in a category that's kind of in between the categories, you're kind of in a gray area, you can still reach out to me and say, hey, I'm, a, I'm you know, a little bit of a mixed bag. This is what I do, and that's what I do, and I want to put them together, that kind of thing. Just, just contact me and ask me, and you know, I'll see if, if it's... Um, if it's doable, but these, generally speaking, these, these niche markets. Okay. And then, and then, um, all of the little details in, in each one, uh, you know, because some people might be multiple things. They might be a Reiki master who knows how to paint portraits, right? They might be a, a psychic who can, um, depict or who can pick up on energy if a stay-at-home mom should, you know, create a makeup and fashion blog. They could be a healer or a channeler who wants to create a nonprofit organization for people who need healing from past life trauma that has manifested in their body. I mean, so you see, you see how many different concepts and ideas can come up with here. And there's so many different people walking so many different paths and offering different services and healing and 
uh, business and whatever in these different areas. So if you fall in under any one of these and you know, you want to reach out to me and, and just see what I could do for you, please feel free to contact me. And if you, if you want to, then you can uh, email me at write us at I am I'll put the link in the description box below. And we can go from there. You might contact me. We'll have a chat and I'll say, you know what? I'm really not the person for you. I think that you need uh, this type of website builder or you need to go to this, spe this specific company because you want to do something really big that's, you know, beyond where I'm at right now. So, you know, I'm not going to take on every project for different reasons. Number one, if I don't feel that I can help you, if I don't feel that I can do a good job, or if it's a little bit different than where my expertise is in, then I can guide you and direct you to, direct you, to you know, someone or a business or an organization who is a better fit for you. Um, also, I may, I may not work with somebody just because I don't resonate with what it is that you're trying to do. Not that what you're trying to do is bad, wrong, or, or anything like that. It just, um, it just, um, I just don't resonate with it. And so I want to work on people's websites that I resonate with because again, that will bring in my intu my intuition, my intuitive hits, my psychic hits, even working with spirit, downloading information or getting guidance and direction from them on something that I can do with your site that would help you stand out you know, uh, far and away from everybody else that you're competing with online that helps you step out and away from the crowd. So, you know, in order to do that, I need to be able to feel into what it is that you're trying to create. I need to be able to connect with it and all this inspiration will come over me. Um, so, so that, uh, so that's the other reason why I may or may not work with somebody. Um, and you know, another reason could just be that, um, uh, maybe you don't want to work with me. Maybe we have a consult and I tell you, you know, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling. This is, you know, this is what I can do for you. Da, 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 da. And you say, you know what, that's not really a fit for me. So I want this to be a two way street. You know, again, I'm not out just trying to take any old project to make some quick money and throw people to the wolves. This is going to be uh, you know, a project that I put in my, my, my talent, skills, abilities, my effort professionally following up with you. Um, making sure that it's running properly, even after your site is up and running and you're online doing your thing, if there's a glitch with the site or something's not working right, the flash drive, the photos, the video isn't running, you can always email me, you know, and say, hey, Leanne, this, blah, 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 this isn't working right and I don't know how to fix it in my back office. Can you just tell me what to do or can you pop in and take a look? And I'll be happy to, um, you know, at least in the beginning, uh, if, if, uh, we'll see how that works down the road. If you have a lot of clients, you could be doing that all day. But, um, but again, I'm just stepping back into this. So, you know, I just, a handful of people is, is really, there's only one of me and only so much time in a day. However, depending on the site that you want, I mean, if I can create it pretty quickly, three days to a week, then, you know, then that's, you know, I'm not going to always be, um, um, taking a long time creating a site where other people can't, um, other people have to wait in line that long. So, so we'll just kind of, I'm just going to kind of step into this and feel it out as we go. And I'm just going to, you know, allow this hopefully to inspire whoever sees this video. If you, you know, to step in my direction, I'm going to let spirit bring people in my direction. Whoever I'm meant to work with is who I'm meant to work with. And, uh, and I'm, and I'm just gonna, you know, just trust in the process. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen here so that I can close this out and say goodbye. If you have sat through this video, kudos. I know it was a little long and, you know, very, um, a little in depth in terms of uh, information and just trying to explain things to you. Again, if you're not really privy on website building, it might have stretched your mind a little bit because um, I was saying things that you, maybe you, you don't know what I'm talking about, but just know that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I would think that that is the most important thing in building your website is that Leanne knows what she's talking about and she knows what she's doing. Um, so, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So I, I'm going to leave you here. And again, if you have any questions, hit me up at that email address. I'll put it in the, in the description box below and, and we'll go from there and, um, and I'll see you on the other side. All right. So take care everyone and we'll speak soon. Bye.